Jack the Modern Fossil. Okay. Here's the plan now. Mm -hmm. Alright. So far, the run has not been going so well. Yes. You know, many people have died. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately. So. The plan now. Is to get. A better nunchuck. Oh, okay. And then. As soon as I got my better nunchuck. I'm gonna. Uh, basically. Just like. Bring up. Bring up the blues. Get as many blues as I can. Because uh -huh. I need blues for yeah. something else. Uh -huh. right? Very important. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I have enough reds. So, enough of my reds. Uh, yellows. Get a few more yellows. I would like to have at least 45 yellows. 15 whites. I probably would be. Probably. Pro 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 I believe we want 20 total, I would think. I had a reason for wanting 20. Why did I need 20? 20 whites? I needed 20 whites for something. Uh, I forgot what to equal 100? And then the rest will be purples. Okay, so. The thing get this. Yeah. It's basically this is just a nice casual slow play uh day. It'll just be a very slow play day. Let's push. Mm. Okay. Yes. This is for the long run. Okay, Mac. Oh, explain. What what? Because I I essentially instead of just like just like raising Pikmin slowly one day at a time, why don't I just take a day to raise Pikmin, and then now would be, you know, and then I, I don't have to raise Pikmin anymore. I see. Yeah. And waiting for your nunchuck to get here. Waiting for my nunchuck. Yeah, which, uh... This is called the nunchuck, by the way. I don't I know, know if you know this. No, I do know that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It was broken for a second, but it's fine now. I got it fixed. Wait, so that's... But that's not the new one. You fixed it, but you're getting a new one. I'm getting a new one. Yes. Oh. Which probably won't be here. We'll probably go to finish this game before I get my new one. Okay. So what's the point of taking a day? Just because you want more? Or no, does, I, does I, this I, have any correlation to the nunchuck? The, the, whole, the, the nunchuck issue is resolved. It is done. Okay, because you, you, you led with... Here's the situation. Yeah. I'm getting a new nunchuck and then started talking well, about your Pikmin count. That's because the nunchuck- And how you're just gonna fuck around for a day and get, and get Pikmin. Well, that's because the nunchuck was fucked up for a second. Okay. And I was a little bit worried Like when you nunchuck... started the game just now? It was yes. Fucked up? It was fucked up. Oh, but so now you've changed your mind. I've changed my mind because... Mid, mid plan. Hold on, I need to lose that. So it's fine now. It's fine now. 100% fine. Why do you even- why even worry, you know? Yeah, so you were blaming your less than stellar play on the controller. Yes, because it wasn't working. Oh, right. Not because it's not like a situation where I'm blaming the controller for not working when it actually was working. It was just my skill and I'm making mm. excuses. Mm. It was actually the controller that wasn't working. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. This was a, that's a genuine thing that was happening. Yeah, man, I, I for a while there I would play... I don't remember what game it was with my brother. Some first person. I'm not even gonna call of duty. I don't know. Modern Warfare 2 or something like that. Yeah. And my brother would always make me take the PS uh PS controller that uh the 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 joystick was inverted. So to you know, I'd have to like go forward to go backward and like my aim I had to you know, like it was literally just backwards. I hated it so much. Was he just like purposely sabotaging you? No, he just had two controllers and one was fucked and he wanted to have the good one. And so I'd have to play with the fucked one even though I'm way worse. And uh... That's true, because like... It, it, when we played like Mario Kart together, right? Mm. I, like, I volunteered to take the shitty controller and have you the best- give you the best controller. So yeah. You know, because I would obviously have an advantage because, you know, I play video games and you suck Mario Kart, right? Hey, uh, I'm good now. You're like good. I said it was. Dude, when we played, man, when we played, man, what time are you talking about? Uh, we played like, like eight months ago, and then we also played, 
because in already. the bachelor party that doesn't even count no, man because i was looking at something this i mean i could not see and the car was going up and down i couldn't hear i felt like it was gonna throw up look but that's because of taylor's driving taylor's... why am i going into the water with all my picture <laughs> you're distracting me you are distracting me okay um but i've been playing a lot of mario kart as of late yes um and uh i feel like i'm pretty damn good i feel pretty damn good okay what are you doing like are you doing just typical 100cc 150cc i'm at 150. 150 i'm at 150 yeah we uh we're going through all of it mm. one by one to unlock everything you know how you play it and uh we're at 150 right now and uh I'm taking it pretty seriously, man. You know, I, I, As you should, I might so. be there. I might be there in the the vehicle customization menu for about two minutes. Fuck, I forgot about these guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm 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 making sure. You know, I'm like, hmm, okay. I've learned that different uh, different characters must be quicker or faster, right? Okay. Is that true or no? Uh, different characters have different weight classes. Okay. So, yes. Yes. They would be faster. I learned better, that. And they have better recovery times. Who has a better recovery time? Uh, the uh, lighter characters, so the smaller characters. Don't, don't so some dude, I like, like Koopa, whatever. He sucks, man. Like he's just so slow. I don't know why. Uh, talking about like a like uh, like. Maybe it's uh, it's like the dude starts with an L or something. I don't know. Like Ludwig. Yeah. yeah. They suck. Who do you play as? I play as Toad, constantly. Toad? Yep. Savannah plays as Toad. Pink Toad. Toadette. Toadette. I, uh, who have I been, I've been playing as Link. I do Link with that, um, boat cart. Okay. With the, like, big orange tires. I do that sometimes. Sometimes I'll do Dry Bowser. But I kind of got off of him. What else do I do? What, what the, been the heavier though? characters are faster, but when you get hit by an item, you have a longer recovery time. Right. But Dry Bowser, it's weird because he's like Dry Bowser. So is he lighter? I feel like uh, for a minute there, I was I, like, dude, he might have multiple multiple capabilities. Here. I don't believe so. I don't believe he's. Uh, I think he's still a heavy, heavy mm. point class. Heavy See, that's what I didn't understand here. about Mario Kart. I thought you could. You know, I thought, oh, well, you know, a bike and a cart are obviously different, but I didn't think the characters were different, so I'm learning. But uh, I feel pretty good at uh, Mario Kart, and I I think I'm the best drifter in the world. The best drifter in the world? I am one hell of a drifter. You want, look, not to, like, you <laughs> make you so, you know, not to, you know, bring you down to my level, you know? But... Uh, Mario Kart 8 drifting is fucking easy as hell. It might as well just be drifting yourself, okay? Oh. You are not doing double dash or Mario Kart Wii or Mario Kart uh, DS drifting, okay? Yeah. So, totally different leagues from your typical Mario Kart 8 auto drifting. Listen, man, is it easy to uh, to uh, to ride a tricycle? Yes or no? I believe so. Objectively, well, yes. Not really. I'm but too someone's the best at doing it. And Someone is the best tricycler. I think I think it's easier. Are to they ride four a bike. years old? Perhaps easier to ride a bike than a tricycle. Easier? Yeah. I don't. Easier. I think because like, I don't. I think that objectively cannot be true. Yeah. You don't even have to balance on a tricycle. Uh, well, yeah, but the tricycle is so small. My knees, you know, I got well, my knees. You gotta, you know, if it was a a grown-up tricycle, it's easier. You can literally sit back. But those don't exist. Like Squid Squidward? <laughs> Come on, man. That's for leisure. They don't. I'm sure that. I'm sure you get a mega try. Mega try. Maybe the tricycle will be then. They would be like in, 20, in the 2030s. Adult tricycles are going to be a thing. Okay, hold on. I got to concentrate for this part right here. This fucking guy. This fucking guy's an asshole. This I hate. I was just about to say it's a walking butthole. So saying it's an asshole was kind of. It's quite a bit bad, yeah. Okay. Fucking kill it. Nice, 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 nice! Oh my god! Get the crown. Our next episode, we should just take a detour and play Mario Kart. <laughs> we should not. We should. I, we should. I, I don't have the. I don't have the switch set up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
you know, I took the time out of my day to, you know, get the Wii U set up so we could play some Pikmin 2. I think you want to revert back to just playing a Switch game? Wii U? Yeah. I thought this was on the Wii. The Wii U can play Wii games. Oh, right. That's I'm like, why would I have a Wii if I can play Wii games on Wii U? But I thought the Wii U sucked. The Wii U does suck. It is the worst console that Nintendo has ever made. So why why choose the Wii U over the Wii then? Because, like, okay, so say that you have, say like, uh, you have like a, a refrigerator without a freezer, Like right? The Wii yep. U is the refrigerator that comes with the freezer. So why would I get a refrigerator that doesn't have a freezer, you know, but like, but like a refrigerator with a freezer is not so special to become its like own thing, you know? Some people might just like stick with their typical uh, refrigerator. Some people just like, uh, also the also the Wii U was a uh, hundred dollars more than the Xbox One and PlayStation Four. So that's was it really a hundred dollars more than? Yeah. Then no, it was it. Yes. Yeah. Wii U's were that much. They were much more expensive. Yes. Like what is it? Six hundred bucks? I think it was like. Was it 600? I think it was close to that. Whoa. It was either 500 or 600. I can't remember. Well, I still don't understand anything you just said to support the fact. Why would you use what you just called the shittiest console over a good console? Explain that to me. Okay. What can the Wii U do that a Wii can't in terms of playing a Wii game? So, first of all, the Wii U has that shitty gamepad, you know, on that table over there. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I need one more. Are you kidding me? I need one more yellow. Okay, I think we should be fine. Fuck it. No, we're not fine. Fuck it. We're fine. No, we're not fucking fine. That's fine. Oh well. Okay, I can get all the treasures in one day, get that thing done. Okay, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. No, it's fine. I can do that. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Because I have like a minute left in this day. Hurry up, boys! Come on! Get the crown in! Come on, Jay. Come on. Okay, so the Wii U Game Boy uh, pad is the most fucking uncomfortable, most big... It's like a, yeah. a giant clunk. Yeah, like, yeah. why would you want to use it? It's awful. Right. Secondly, uh, the Wii U has no exclusive games, okay? Everything yes. that was like, exclusive on the Wii U got ported to the Switch. Uh, and uh, it's also, it was more expensive. Uh, the only things, the, the only games that uh, are exclusive to the Wii U that haven't been deported to the Switch yet are uh, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD and also Xenoblade X. Those are the three games that haven't been ported to the uh, Switch. Uh, I'm not sure why they haven't been, they should be, but uh, also because people don't even know that the Wii U was a new console. Like, uh, like, if you hear about the, a product called the Wii Wheel, right? You think it's an accessory to the, to the Wii. It's an accessory. So then you hear a new product called the Wii U. You think that it's just like an accessory to the Wii. Mm. Or perhaps a much more, like, a better Wii, like the PlayStation Pro. Uh, PlayStation 4 Pro, you know? Stuff like that. Like, uh, like it's the same console, but it has, like, better specs. Or, like, it has more storage. So the right? Wii U has better specs and better storage. Yes. I don't know about storage, honestly. It's storage, it doesn't have a lot of storage. But you're basically just telling me in the in the longest, most convoluted way that you're using the Wii U over the Wii because it has better specs. I'm using the Wii U over the Wii because I can play both Wii U games and Wii games. That is the main reason. Because I have a bigger, yes. I have a bigger catalog. Gotcha. Yeah. But well, the Wii U still yeah. is a novel console because... Because of the gamepad. Because A, the gamepad, two, it's not unique, and three, the... It's not worth it. It's the Wii U is basically just a prototype of the Nintendo Switch. In a way, I, su right? I suppose so. Yeah, but yeah. Like they basically just sent out a test model. Uh, <laughs> they accidentally the launched the Wii U. That, that probably makes sense. Yet another cave discovered. Venturing to the father's beaches has proven rewarding. You may be tired of walking, but just one last leap remains. Now go get that treasure. Really is such a great idea I this to the cabin. Is combine it the cabin? Oh, a console Jesus. with a portable console tablet, whatever you want to call it. Such a great idea. Especially having like... Oh, yeah. Also, the reason that like there weren't a lot of third party game, uh, games for the Wii U. Because developing for the Wii U was atrocious because you had the gamepad. You had to, you had to think about 
Because you basically which, had to make two games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, fuck. Uh, so basically, you want to make a game uh, that launches with uh, Xbox One, PlayStation uh, Four, and also uh, Wii U. Okay. Mm. You have to make a version for the PlayStation Four and Xbox Three, uh, Xbox One, because the very similar hardware, you know. But then for the Wii U version, you got to think about like how the gamepad comes into it, you know, stuff like that. So like, there's a lot more hassle and a lot more effort to make a Wii U game than there is to make a, a PlayStation Four and an Xbox One game. So why would you make a, a Wii U game when it's much cheaper to make a game for the other consoles? Right? So Nintendo Switch, what are what are some examples of some games you can play on the Switch that you can play on PlayStation and Xbox? Uh. Because uh, the Switch itself is the market with the Switch is that it was both a portable and a home console mm -hmm. at the same time. Uh, that's the market ability in it, and also it's not called the fucking Wii Two, all right? That's another reason why it sold well. Uh, third, uh, the specs to the Switch is worse than the PlayStation Five and Series X, of course. Yeah. Uh, it's around it's, it's around similar to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So there was a bunch of like old games that were on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One coming to the Switch, you know, like Persona 5. Uh, but like, still, it, it's... Because it's, the it's, console isn't optimized for those types of games. Yeah. Right? It's more like Nintendo their also own had, things yeah. and Nintendo has also gone into things. more deals with other companies to make games for the Switch, like Capcom. Capcom's making like Monster Hunter games for the Switch. Mm, uh, interesting. Yeah. So they're much they're doing uh, better business decisions uh, <laughs> than they did with Wii U. There's like six of them. Oh my God! Do you think that it would benefit them to get more into like a universal market? Or do you think that they know their brand and they know the type of games that Look, work for them and they just keep doing people it? People that buy Nintendo consoles will be playing Nintendo games, right? That's the reason why they bought Nintendo consoles. Right. But what if you could do all of it in one? Wouldn't there, don't you think their sales would go up? Like if you play, obviously they can't, but like in a world like say you could play Halo, Call of Duty and all your Nintendo games on a Switch. That would be that's remarkable, but that's right. not how business works. Right, because there's exclusive stuff. But like yeah. games like that. Like what if they just made their own sort of like Gears of War game or this something? This is what, well, Nintendo's basically branching out to multiple di different game types. Like Splatoon is their shooter type game. That's, oh, really? That, that's their game. Uh, I, I haven't seen this. Splatoon? Mm. Is it like a Western game? Like a <laughs> Red Dead Redemption thing or what? I, I can't even explain it to you. I, I, Okay, so Splatoon. <laughs> uh, fuck. Okay, I have no idea how to explain Splatoon to somebody that's never know, doesn't know what Splatoon is. It's not a Western thing. It's not a Western. Why the hell is it called Splatoon? Although, yes, it does sound like a Western movie, like a fucking a well, Clint Eastwood. Film. Without a doubt. I mean, it's a Splatoon. Yeah. Uh, but no, that is not what it is. It is a third-person. Third person. That's fine. It's a third person shooter. So you're seeing the like this. this third yeah, yeah, person. yeah. Uh, it's a third person shooter that uh, the goal, instead of shooting like bullets at people, you're shooting ink because you're squids. You're a bunch oh, of squids. Like Epic Mickey. Let's go with that. Epic Mickey. <laughs> All right. Uh, you have a bunch of squids shooting ink at each other. Squids? But the, yeah, but uh, the goal isn't to, you know, get the most kills or whatever. The goal is, this is one of the game modes, is to cover the entire map with your, your color of liquid. Okay. Yeah. So, you're trying to cover the map with, uh... So that is their attempt to make their own type of... First-person yeah, shooter game. Yeah, well, that's the main game though. It's like, Has Nintendo so ever like, had a rated M game on a console? They have. Oh, uh, Resident Evil 4 was exclusive to the GameCube. Uh, really? For yeah, for a while it was. I believe for like a year it was exclusive to the GameCube. So like that was the. Okay, so that's what I'm talking about. Like, 
so have they done something like that since? Was it not like financially prosperous oh. for them or what? Like I Bayonetta. Was... Bayonetta is the rated M series. Bayonetta. Bayonetta, yeah. It's like an Assassin's Creed no. but during Re Bayonetta is a character in Smash Brothers as well, so you sh should recognize uh, her. Hmm. Uh, it was a, it's a, it's, it's made by Platinum Games, who made, like, the Autonoma, uh, you know, it, I can't fucking explain it to you when you don't know shit. Yeah, I don't know anything. Yeah. So, uh, interesting. So they, it see, it appears to me like they've been around longer than anybody. They don't have an interest in, they don't have an interest in making more mature games. No, not really. But they have, like, 2K and stuff on the Switch and stuff, right? They have what? Madden? Madden 2K? Is that on the Switch and stuff? They have, uh, 2K is on the Switch. And they have, they don't have, uh, MLB The Show. Because that's a place, that's a Sony deal. They have really? their own thing. It's like RBI, something like that. It's no like, way. It's a much shittier uh, Ma Mario All-Stars. Mario All-Stars? Right, is that where he plays, uh, baseball? No. That's Mar- oh, it's Mario, uh, uh, uh Peanuts and Crackers. What's it called? <laughs> Mario Peanuts and Crackers? What's it called? Ma Ma Mario, uh, uh... I believe it's Super Sluggers. Super Sluggers, same thing. Mm hmm They're just all Italian. <laughs> all Italian? Yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Honestly, barely if Mario's roots is, like, rooted in Italian. Like... So I, I think that like that comes from like Charles Martinet's performance as Mario, like it's a me, you know, uh, me, yeah, yeah. Of your meatballs, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that it, the more of Mario's Italian lineage, because it was implied that Mario was Italian, like uh, because Miyamoto, I believe, said something like that. But like, he wasn't like stereotypically Ita Italian. His just name was Mario, and he was a plumber, you know. I think it was just like once Charles Martinet came along, uh, so. That is the lesson in uh, this episode. Charles Monet is a racist. Shit. Yeah. What a shame. Shit. Alright, let me kill this. I'm a cannon loader. Don't fucking shoot another fucking fuck. Fuck! Lee is just simply a homing lava cannon. So I want your opinion on something. Yeah. You know, I've encountered a lot of people in my day. They're like, yeah, I play games. And you, you know people that's like, I'm a gamer. You know, they're like, yeah. they got their all set up, the PC set up, whatever it is. Yes. You know, you hear them screaming in their, in their bedroom and stuff. You know, I've encountered a lot of these people. Yes. But here's the thing. These are the only games that they play. Are they a gamer if the only games they play are 2K, Madden, Fortnite, and whenever the new Call of Duty comes out? Look. You know, because like I, to me, I, as someone who doesn't play games but knows someone like you, I feel like those people are like, like they're kind of like a little cringy. Like the people that, uh, like, what I am is cringy. Or no, like, no, 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 not you. Yeah, uh, you play right. every game, but you got these people yeah. out here like, yeah, they got their setup. They, they, you know, they want the PS5 so bad just to play 2K Madden and Fortnite on. Yeah. From what a, are your thoughts on that? From a very basic perspective, yes, I essentially that is what a game is. But I think that it is the goal of somebody that, like, yeah, like, whenever you like, have somebody that, like, is into, uh, oh, it's culture, you know? Mm. They don't just look at one person's work and then that's it, you know? Yes. They look at different galleries. They look at, like, yes. modern art, uh, renaissance art, of course. you know? Uh, I think that is more akin to what I, like, a, like a connoisseur of games should be more like. Because it's like, uh, gamer is like roped into both myself, you know, somebody that plays all games. And the teenage boys who just scream at yeah, the top of the lungs playing Fortnite. Yes. I don't feel like they're the same person. No, they're not. So like, there should be like different tiers. Well, it's kind of like with movies, right? It's like, there's the guy who goes to the movies a lot, but that? sees like all the Marvel movies, anything with a superhero they're gonna see, and then like, yeah. Like your brother, you explain that to me. Or your brother will just, out of nowhere, just go see movies, have no idea who was in it, who made it, yeah. or anything. But then you got people, you know, me and you, we're we're seeking out... All of the experience. All of it, yeah. I'm watching it all. Like, I want that variety. I want to know film history. Because, like, it, like, to me, it's like, that's my biggest interest by a long shot, right? Yeah. So it's like, I don't want to discount those people going to the theaters. Like, I want people to go to theaters. I, I mean, even if I'd rather you like some movies than not all. But like, yeah. don't go out. The, you know, you see people online, some people on Twitter, you know, people on YouTube. It's like their whole 
their whole image is about movies, but all they actually really give a shit about is superhero movies. So it's yeah. like, you don't really care about movies. You care about superhero movies and whatever the next movie that's coming out that'll get you views. Look, what I'm saying is that if you just play only Fortnite, PUBG, uh, Call of Duty, and yeah. Madden... And it's like all those jock that, kids. That's fine. <laughs> just like... I just don't want you guys to fucking, like, hate on people that actually explore different types of uh, games and whatever. It's like, oh, well, you don't play fucking Call of Duty, you're a pussy, you know? Wait, the people are like that? There's a, it's in, that's the culture? Yeah. It's like, was, what the fuck, you playing... Oh, what? yes, uh, I understand. People are like, oh, you play fucking Nintendo games? You don't play Call of Duty? What the fuck? Yeah. Especially, like, the mindset of, like, middle schoolers and whatever. Uh, they'd be like, yeah, but only Call of Duty, that's the only thing you gotta play. What, you play fucking Mario? What are you, a fucking toddler? <laughs> That's fucking bullshit, dude. Yeah, it is. It really much is. Uh, I just want uh, people that like oh, into like FPS games and stuff like that. I just want them to like branch like, out, branch a out, bit. try. At least. Or I think be a little more self-aware. Yeah. Like it's cool if that's the only thing you like, but like be aware of the fact that. Yeah. There's reasons why people like other games. There's reasons why people like JRPGs. People but, look, yeah. like they're supposed to choose like you guys do. You know. Some people are like RTS games like this one, you know? Yeah, right. There are reasons why people like them. There's other reasons why people don't like them. It's just like whatever your fucking cup of tea is. Uh, but oh fuck. Uh oh, there he is. Okay, I gotta go kill him immediately because he doesn't have children with him. Always kill the guy when he doesn't have his children with him. That is the number one rule. That is a that is a big thing. Hey. Okay. Not in front of the kids. In front of the kids. My kids are here. Okay. All right, then we'll go out in the bag, Johnny. Come on. Oh, yes. Yep. Nice. Perfect. That's actually very good RNG for me. Incredible. You're probably gonna hear me say RNG a bit. I've started doing like a SpongeBob. Uh, RNG. Speed, yes, uh, SpongeBob speedrun. Oh fuck. Okay. Uh, RNG means uh, random number, a uh, random number generator. Mm. This is literally just, it's something that is randomized. Uh, so like. Uh, the spawning of oh the Fullman. Uh, the spawning of each of the enemies. That is, base like, on, uh, like the computer picks a number, and that number corresponds to a spawn to mm. where an enemy will appear at. Right. And then you know that will happen. So that's what I mean by RNG. Mm -hmm. It's like something that is completely randomized and out of my control. So if I lose Pikmin due to shitty RNG spawnings, don't blame me. You know. Fleeting or fine. Candles are really a fleeting on film. A fun. We don't use candles all that much anymore. In fact, in fact, I think it's a little bit like why would you put them on a cake? You know, you get wax inside of your cake. I, I don't understand that. Look, yeah. I, I understand oh, yeah. if you are can't like, let it burn too long. Yeah, if you are like a hundred and two, and then you'll be like, yeah, let's get a hundred and two candles for my grandmother. You know, start a damn fire. Yeah, I've been I, around some cakes with a lot of candles, and <laughs> it just becomes a campfire, dude. And it's just all wax on top, yeah. no frosting. Like, I understand you're trying to make a spectacle, but... You know, I like, just get the number ones. You know, yeah. just like, oh, just you, two you turn ten, two candles. It's always just ten, I mean, it might be one, you know? And you light it and immediately blow it out before the wax starts dripping. Yeah. They should make edible, they, those should be edible. Hey. I thought you were gonna say they should make like edibles but like candles. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, they should make edible they should make edible birthday candles. Honestly. Well, I don't know if that's possible. You really make a, a I mean, they're all flammable food. They go to like you do go to like a Oh hell yeah, bro. Yeah, like a restaurant and then like Oil. they have something like on all fire. All food is flammable. Yeah. Everything's flammable. Yeah, alcohol is flammable. Yeah, like just drench your cake in alcohol. You know, as a you know those wax bottles, like the ones with like the tiny bit of juice in them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, those? Uh, the first time I ever had one of those, uh, my grandpa as a kid, he just gave me a bag of them. He said, "I love these things," and I watched him just put half of it in his mouth and just and just, you know, eat it. And I was like, okay, I guess that's how you do these. You right. eat the plastic? Well, I see. I think the part, like, he just left right after that. I mean, it was the weirdest thing. Like, he just walked in, like, here's a bag of wax bottles. This is how you do it. And just walked out. I'm like, okay. So I was like, I've seen these in movies. Like, I'm going to like this, right? Yeah. I proceeded to eat half of the bag, including the wax. Mm, the wax. And I thought, 
I don't understand the appeal of this. There's like maybe but you hate the half the bag. There's like a teaspoon of juice in there. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, I know. Like you ate like one and you thought, okay, <sighs> like, maybe that was a bad one. Well, Let me try it again. Darren, here. here's the thing. There's a lot of colors. In there. Ow, my God. A lot of colors. And I was like, I got it. And uh, yeah, I got a stomach ache, and that was the last oh, time yeah, I ate wax. Probably good reason. I mean, dude, there's probably like a ball of wax like this size of like, like, no, ping pong ball. Ping pong ball. Of wax, What's yeah. In you? Yeah. I was just like, I don't get this. Oh my god. And then someone came along, and we're like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? You're supposed to eat the juice. I'm like, that make this is the most wasteful candy ever. That makes no sense. And the juice sucks. The juice does suck. But, you know, I've only had like 10 in my life. 10. Probably. Me too. I had them all in one go. Yeah. And then I never had I them had again. It. And then I'm like, why is this a successful <laughs> business? This is a, lo a, a money laundering scheme. Dude. Yeah. So bad. I was like, this is, this is, what a waste of my time. I also used to truly believe that if you swallowed gum, it would be in your stomach for seven years. I really believed that. Oh, that's definitely not true. No, not true at all. I mean, it's going to be in there just as long as anything else. You know, I've, I've swallowed my fair share of gum. You know? Yeah. I've, I always envy the people who, at school who would <laughs> swallow gum when, like, a teacher thought they had gum. I'd be like, I'd be like that's... Badass, I can't do that. Yeah. I can't I can't just swallow no. a wad of gum. I don't know, just something about it. And we continue to eat like corn, you know. Yeah, or or pff, dude, I can inhale a whole string cheese. Give me an entire string cheese, that whole thing can go completely unchewed right down the collar. But gum? Nah. A pill? Nah. Why is there a That's a weird spawn right there. Well, the treasures just be right there. No, I don't see that. Mabble? It's a mabble. It's a mabble. It's a mabble? Anyway, but the note of uh, back deep throating string cheese. Mm. We're going to end this episode right here. Yeah. Uh, so thank you all for watching this episode of Pikmin 2. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified every time we upload, which is every single day. Goodbye.